I'd like to now go over the employee worksheet through the CalChoice program and talk specifically about uh, you employers that are offering your health insurance benefits only through CalChoice. First of all, I want to bring up uh, some important features that you need to look at. Uh, make sure that the effective date is the effective date that, you, that you've been told that your health insurance is in force. It should have your name on it and your age. If you have any dependents, it should also list the dependents uh, by age and by the number of dependents. It should also tell you the zip code that, the depend that uh, you as an employee, your information is based on, which you see here. Down here we see where the contribution is. This particular one talks about the contribution being based on the Aetna HMOB and that the employer is paying 90% for that plan and 50%, and that's 90% towards lowest cost employee rate for the Aetna B, uh, and then 50% for that same plan for the dependent coverage. So in this case, the plan will highlight, uh, I should say the, the this uh, worksheet will highlight the plan the employer is making their contribution based on, which in this case was the Aetna Silver HMOB. Uh, this will give you the monthly gross premium for this particular employee, and then based on the contribution that the employer has agreed to provide, it will provide the uh, cost that the employee is going to have to pay for this plan. Up here, it goes over the HMO plans and what the contribution is going to be for you as an employee. Then it goes over the EPO plans. And last but not least, it goes over the PPO plans. The next page down gives a synopsis initially of the HMO plans. We'll go over the rest of it. But again, it highlights the plan that the employer is basing their contribution on. Notice, the, and it's important that you understand that the network that this plan utilizes is the Aetna Basic HMO network. So you certainly want to make sure that if you're going to choose this plan and you need a particular doctor, that, that provider is on this plan. The next thing it asks is, is the plan HSA compatible? And in this case, this particular plan is not HSA compatible. Then it goes over the deductible. If the plan like this plan has a $2,000 deductible, then that deductible will apply to certain things and then there's going to be certain areas where the deductible is waived for benefits. So as you can see from doctors and labs and specialists visit, the deductible is waived and it simply has a copay. But you'll see down here for hospital, hospital services, it does not say deductible waived. This particular plan has a $500 copay for the first three days and then covers 100% thereafter, but it is subject to the $2,000 deductible. Emergency room has a copay. The urgent care has a copay. Your outpatient surgery has a copay, but that outpatient surgery is after deductible. Prescription $15 for generic, overall deductible waived, brand name overall deductible waived, and a $50 copay. And as discussed previously, everything works towards the out of pocket maximum. So you'll notice that this particular plan that the employer is basing their contribution on has a $6,000 out of pocket maximum. So if I've met my deductible on that plan, in other words, if I had an inpatient hospital stay and I paid that $2,000 deductible, then I would only have $4,000 out of pocket left to pay for the remainder of that calendar year. If I then uh, had a $500 copay for the first three days, that $500 per day for the first three days, in other words, $1,500 would come off of the plan. So from, from the $4,000 left over after the deductible and I subtract 1500 now I've got uh, $2,500 left out of pocket. So any of these other copays under the plan can uh, help me to achieve my out-of-pocket maximum if I happen to have a worst-case scenario. So it goes over, it's a synopsis of the HMO plans, gold and silver. Then it comes down here and you've got the uh, uh, continuation of the HMO plans, the EPO plans, and then comes down here into the PPO plans. And again, the same scenario uh, takes place, but understand on PPOs, there's in-network and there's out-of-network benefits. And so when you read it, you read it down from here, down through here. All right. Again, the PPO plans that are there. And then the employee worksheet, any notes that are on, that are listed on the plans, uh, 
you certainly want to make reference to these notes as it deals with the plans. So this was this would be how you'd read your worksheet for an employer who is offering the health insurance through CalChoice.